not so far from here, uh, a long time ago, there was a mountain. And on the mountain there was a stone cutter. And he was doing what he did every day. Chip, chip, chip. And he could feel the sweat drop off his brow. And as he wiped the sweat away, he could see in the distance a rich merchant going by, going by in his merchant shop. <laughs> his merchant shop. <laughs> <laughs> and he thought to himself, oh, I wish I had a job like that. If I was a rich merchant, I'd have all of these goods and jewels and satin clothes and all the men and women of the country. The rich people would come to me and I wouldn't have to labor so hard all day long. I wish I was the rich merchant. That night he went to sleep and the next morning he woke up. He was a rich merchant and he went to work and he had his shop, his traveling shop that he carried and he had it red rubies and um, blue gems and, <laughs> <laughs> and what other stones did he have? He had white pearls. Sapphire. Sapphire. He had crystals of all sorts of different colours. And he had silks and satins and all the beautiful women came to buy his goods and he felt so happy, so powerful, so rich. Until one day as all the women were looking at him and buying his goods, they all turned and they're like, ah! when they saw a prince gallop by on his horse. I wish I was a prince. I wouldn't even have to work. I could just gallop from town to town and people would respect me, admire me. All the rich merchants would want to be like me. The next morning he became the prince and he did what princes too do. He galloped from town to town on his fancy horse and he showed off his clothes and all the women when they saw him went, ooh. <laughs> and uh, all the merchants would want to be like him and he was a happy prince. He really enjoyed it until one day he was galloping along a road, galloping away, and he saw ahead of him the king coming with four horses in his golden carriage, and all the people on the road got off because, as was custom in the day, they bowed to him, and the prince had to bow too. As he was bowing, he thought, The king is more powerful than I, the king is the most powerful of all. I wish I were the king. And the next day, he became the king. And as he was in one of his palaces, much bigger than Buckingham Palace, he was lying there thinking, I am the most powerful man in the land. I can do whatever I want. I can take someone's life just like that if I choose. But the sun was shining in his face and he had to take his crown off because of the heat. And he thought to himself, I'm a mere mortal. I'm nothing. The sun is more powerful than any human being. I wish I were the sun. <laughs> and the next day he became the sun. And he shined his heat among the people. And he thought to himself, I am all powerful. And he made kings take their crowns off. And he made people so hot that they had to like, you know, strip, which is a good move. <laughs> 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 but then a cloud came and blocked him. And there was nothing he could do. The cloud put rains rained upon the lands that he made dry. And he felt helpless. The cloud is more powerful now. I wish I were the cloud. He became the cloud. And then the wind came along and blew him away. The wind's more powerful now. I wish I were the wind. And the wind huffed and puffed and blew. But there was one thing it could not blow. It could not blow a mountain. The mountain is all powerful. I wish I were the mountain. And he became the mountain. And he was happy. Until he heard... Yeah. Chip, chip, chip. And he looked down and there was the stone cutter. I wish I were the stone cutter. And he became himself.